Hello everybody, welcome to another tech tutorial. On this week's uh, video, I'm going to be showing you uh, uh, something called uh, how to create uh, curved text. And um, curved text is pretty much quite similar to uh, circular text, uh, what I showed in the previous video. Uh, I'll put a link to uh, that video um, up here. Uh, but it's uh, it's a little different. Uh, it has a little more flexibility than uh, circular text. Uh, circular text, the text would just wrap around a circle, you know, uh, which is probably pretty perfect for you know most logos because most logos are circular. But um, sometimes you want to put text in a certain shape that is not necessarily circular. Um, so um, let me show you uh, what I mean. Uh, let me uh, start off by uh, creating a new image. Let's go 1280 by 720. And let's open the uh, image up. Uh, open as layer. Let's uh, kind of change this layer, let's scale this layer a little bit. Uh, let's increase it to the height of uh, 720. Okay. Okay, you see the shape of the coaster uh, is kind of curved in that, but it's not in terms of, of a perfect circle. I mean, obviously you got, you know, this side going on a slope and this side going on a slope. I mean, you could make a circle in this area, but then again, the text will just, after it reach the circle, on this point it would just drop off to the bottom and start going back down again and it would not hug the side of this coaster which is what I really want to do is to have text kind of go all across this coaster line and go down on this end so a circular text will not work in that matter to have you know you kind of go close to the coaster and continue curving all the way down this way so in order to do that what we're going to do we need to make uh, a path that kind of outline the shape of this coaster so what we would do is we would click on the path tool and we would make two points from uh, underneath the coaster so you want to to be not too close to the edge because you want to have some space for the text to be um, to be able to um, to go between the coasters and the path so okay, you put two points between here and here and you just take the middle of this line hold it and drag it up and see the line kind of is going to start going closer to the shape of the coaster but um, the sides are kind of all up so you gotta bend it downward by holding these points like this and over here too putting these points and bending in this a little bit like this then drag it up a little more and put this down a little more oops Uh, 
looks pretty close. You see it here's the here the space is a little bit more. shape on the shape of the poster so it's down a little bit more but that seems to be close enough I'm just eyeballing it pretty much so you see here's the path that we just created now we're going to create the text that to fit into that path so we will hit the text tool and we would select a font. Um, let's do select this one. Semi bold. That's uh, nice. Uh, let's go with a uh, space of 40 pixels. And let's create on top. Right here. And let's center it. And let's say creating curve text using GIMP. Oops. Okay. Um. Let's also spread it out a little bit so it would look a little more um, more cleaner I guess. Let's give it uh let's go with nine is so too much. Uh, eight. Let's try eight. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on the text layer that we just created and go to text along path as you see here now the text kind of uh, hugging the, the side of the roller coaster and bending into its shape so, so that is pretty cool now that's as you see now with this it's definitely different than a circular text because if it is a circular text this would go down and would kind of wrap around the circle but now with this it's kind of hugging to the shape of a coaster so you can imagine having other objects like maybe a tree or some like hills of some sort you can manipulate the path to kind of uh, bend to the, to the way of how the hill looks and things like that so let's uh, create the um, we have the shape, but we need to fill it, fill out the text. So we're going to make a new layer, the transparency, and in the path, as you see, it created the, the path for us. We will select a uh, path to selection. It will select the, this uh, path that we just made, and you go back to your layer tab select uh, the new transparent layer and we're gonna fold it in with uh, the black color now we just unselect now you see the red outline that's actually the path that's visible we can hide that or delete it So let's um let's give it a little outer glow, make it look nice. So we just go to the outer glow. Give it ten. Let's merge down the layers. There we go. Now it's kind of popping a little bit. Now, now we this text layer we don't need it either anymore I mean once we made our uh, curved text we don't really need the text layer anymore we could hide it or delete it 
Also, uh, let's do some uh, some shape manipulation uh, of the curve text. So we select the K transform tool, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna just uh, kind of um, select this whole text uh, deal text layer. Curve text we just made. And let's just play around like let's uh let's make the edges real big. Yeah, like that. And Tighten the middle a bit. Yeah. And that's about it. That's that's pretty much how you uh, create, you know, curved text to kind of uh, to whatever shape you want, which is uh, a step up from uh, circular text. Alright, so um, leave a comment if you have any questions on uh, how to um, create uh, curved text and, um, and uh, hit the subscribe button to my channel to you know, keep up to date with uh, upcoming videos and hit the notification button to get notified of upcoming videos. As always, everybody, have a nice day, and I see you on the next video. Take care.